Hi, this is Jeff Gentry, BPA, Bloodstain Pattern Analyst. Uh, just a little bit ago, I went ahead and drew my own blood and created some drip stains on the counter. It's a tile surface, it's nice and smooth. So we got good circular drip stains. They were created at about uh, one foot height off the surface. Um, this was about, we'll see, we're, we're about 20 minutes ago is when we created these drip stains. So I wanna show what it looks like when blood starts to dry. So I'm going to take my finger and run it through it. Um, this is going to be a form of a transfer. So there's two different transfers. There's a wipe when blood is already on a surface and you're essentially wiping it off or disturbing it. And then there's a swipe when you take a bloody object and transfer it to a clean surface. So I'm going to demonstrate both of those. So here we go. We're going to go right through the middle of the blood stain. Okay, so this is an example of a wipe. And you see that the blood is already starting to clot and coagulate because it's out of my body um, and normally I mean this is pretty disgusting but this is my own blood so I'm not too worried about it you see a good skeletonized ring around the outside of the blood stain the blood is going to start drying from the outside in and you can tell that the blood has already started to dry and clot uh, by the clot that's already accumulated on my finger and then the skeletonized ring and this is about 20 minutes after this blood was deposited on the surface so that gives you an idea idea if you come into a scene and you see a, a white pattern that means that something disturbed that blood after it already started drying uh, that's a really good piece of evidence something that you can use and document in a report so this is a white because the blood was already on the surface and i disturbed it by wiping through it so now i'm going to show you what a swipe is um, there's another skeletonized ring. So a swipe is different. I've got blood on my finger and now I'm going to come in contact with the clean surface. Okay, so quite a bit different. You don't see the skeletonized ring and in this transfer, the, the swipe, you see that the majority of the blood is on this side where I first came in contact with the surface and then as you drag across, it starts to taper off. It's called a feathered edge. So you see feathering at that edge meaning that that is the direction of travel. So you can definitely tell what direction my finger was coming in contact with the surface and then the direction that it left the surface. So this is an example of not only blood drying time, and we're at about 22 minutes or so after the blood is deposited on the surface, but it also shows you a transfer stains or transfer patterns, which is a, a wipe when you go through a blood source that's already on the surface and then a swipe which is a bloody object coming in contact with a clean surface.